All right, everyone, welcome back. Fans and critics alike regarded Deus Ex Human Revolution as a terrific work from the talented team at IDOS Montreal. And now we're going to see what happens when we take the game out of the living room and onto a tablet. Maybe not out of the living room. You can play your tablet in the, tablet in the living room also, but you can play it anywhere, which is a nice point. Um, so Deus Ex The Fall is a standalone title for the iPad that takes place in the same world as Human Revolution. And I'm joined by James Wright, mobile producer for Square Enix Europe, and Jean, Jean-Francois Jean Dugas. I almost got it without stumbling. <laughs> I had to practice almost his perfect. name because it's it's very French. Exactly. Correct. Um, and you're the executive game director on this new title. Correct. Thank you both for being here with me. Pleasure. You're welcome. So, uh, how has E3 been for you so far? Have you guys been able to get out of the booth a little bit and wander around? Not that much, actually. <laughs> we, we went a bit around, but like since we always have meetings and we're presenting at uh, the SX The Fall, mm -hmm. uh, I think we're, I'm going to watch more videos when I come back home. Yeah, that, you <laughs> have to play catch up because exactly. you're yeah. tethered to the booth. It's been, it's been pretty kind of uh, back to back, but I might get some time this afternoon just to pop around and have a look around. So. Well, that's great. It's great that it's been back to back and that there's interest in the fall for sure. So um, we're going to start off with a couple of questions for you guys. And this one is one that I, I have to ask. <coughs> so there's a different protagonist in Deus Ex The Fall than the star of Human Revolution. And the first thing I want to know about him is, did he ask for this? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I've been waiting to use that this yeah, entire time. I scripted it and I was like, yes. I like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, did he? Uh, yes, he asked for it. He was like, come on, there's Adam Jensen with a game. I come from the Icarus Effect novel. The, it's a book, and I want to have my game too. And so we'll He, he it. approached you personally. I, I, he exactly. said, let's, let's make this happen. Okay, so what is his name? <laughs> ben Saxon. Okay. And so um, you were saying that he is, he's directly from one of the, De the Deus Ex novel. What was it called again? Icarus, Icarus Effect. Effect. Yes. Yes. So can you expand a little bit on, on the character? Well, uh, sure, yeah. So Ben's, uh, Ben Saxon's a really interesting character. He is uh, an ex-British SAS mercenary. Uh, he, uh, he used to be a member of, uh, of the group, the Tyrants. So the Tyrants are the, the gang that Adam Jensen fought uh, in uh, Human Revolution. So that's Fedorova, uh, Barrett, and, uh, and Namir. <clears throat> so you actually start the game uh, off as, uh, as a one, of, one of the Tyrants, which is, which is really cool. So. Uh, ben uh, uh, dis eventually discovers that uh, the, the tyrants were lying to him, and so you know he uh, he's on the run from the tyrants. So in the in the Icarus Effect novel, uh, you, you you get to read about that about that journey, and and our game picks up directly where the novel finishes. Very cool. Mm. So this is actually a question that I've heard a couple of times, and I'm interested to know the answer to. Have you guys ever considered a female protagonist? Absolutely, it's something that we we, we considered uh, early on, especially because uh, with uh, the Icarus effect, we follow the adventures of Ben Saxon and also Anna Kelso. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, basically, we had the choice, but uh, we were running on a very tight schedule. And to be honest, like it was easier to go with a male protagonist because we already had uh, the assets, yep. uh, the the animations and things like that. And it, it was a decision that was made from a production standpoint more mm -hmm. than from a creative standpoint. Okay, that's interesting to know. Um, what were the challenges in translating Deus Ex into the tablet? I have to imagine that there were many, but that it's, it's looking great, so you guys are obviously overcoming those. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think um, that, you know, that there, there were many challenges, um, pri primarily uh, uh, the, the control. So Deus Ex Human Revolution, uh, you know, was, was on console and, and or on, on PC uh, with, with a keyboard and mouse. And so obviously we, we, we didn't have that. So for us, the, the challenge was in creating uh, an authentic Deus Ex experience where you had uh, the choice of action, stealth, gameplay, uh, as well as social interaction and, and hacking. So setting out to retain that experience, but not trying to shoehorn the controls of a console and mm -hmm. PC game you know, into, into uh, the, the mobile uh, uh, platform. So for us, it was a case of you know building the game from the ground up and, and really focusing on on the controls and making sure that we, we streamline many aspects. And you know, I'm not I'm not going to go into into full detail, but there's certain uh, er areas that we've changed, like for example uh, the way uh, you run and, and jump. So we've, we've made running automatic, so it's not a separate button. Mm -hmm. uh, jumping has been replaced with, with vaulting, so that basically allows us to uh, still have the same experience, still be able to explore different areas and not have to worry about first-person platform. Uh, action, which is great when you have a controller, mm -hmm. uh, but not not so good, you know, on a on a, on a touchscreen uh, display. Okay. 
Okay. So it was all about making it fluid for, for the tablet while maintaining all the choices, the interesting choices that were found in Human Revolution, the, 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 the moral choices, the gameplay choices, etc. So it was all about finding the right solutions that would help us maintain a real DSX uh, experience. Okay. And along those lines, then, do you guys feel that we're at a point that the tablet experience can uh, be comparable to something on, on consoles or PC? Well, I mean, I, I can speak for James, but for, for from my perspective, is uh, uh, tablets or, or, or PC or, 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 or consoles like uh, tablets today are more powerful than ever. Mm -hmm. And uh, at some point, it just becomes uh, about creating great games and delivering them where players want to play them. And mm -hmm. I, I think uh, in the future, it's going to go more and more in that uh, direction. So On the go. Yeah, exactly. And so for me, it's uh, uh, I'm more looking into making the, the best experience as possible, whatever the platform is. So. Yep. You have any thoughts on that one? Yeah, no, I, I agree. And so, you know, we've really seen uh, the technology and the hardware mature over the last couple of years. So we've got better screens, better uh, processing powers and, and graphic chipsets. And so, you know, what we're, what we're seeing is, is really rich, immersive experiences. And so, you know, certainly with, with Deus Ex The Fall, you know, we're, we're, we've got console-like uh, gameplay depth and experience actually on, on the platform. And I think that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly not just with Deus Ex, but with, with, with other franchises, uh, not just made by Square, but for me as a, as a gamer, the fact that we'll be able to now experience those on the go, not just not just at home, I think that's really, really, really exciting. Yeah. So, JF, we're shortening it to your initials. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> from, fine. From a creative uh, perspective, how does working on a different platform and developing for a different platform change your approach? Well, uh, one of the first thing that uh, we did with James, it's partner with a, a great studio to develop the SX The Fall. And we've been uh, developing it with uh, Enfusion. It's mm -hmm. a company based in New Jersey. And uh, those guys had a lot of uh, mobile experience in the first place. And uh, us, uh, we're, we're coming from the console PC world and everything. And we didn't want to pretend that we had that kind of experience ourselves and everything. Yep. And uh, we, we, we partnered with them, and they were also uh, great DSX fans and everything. And uh, in our early conversations, when we started to work on that product, they were already able to tell us about certain things that would work really well and others that wouldn't work really mm -hmm. well and that we would have to work to find some solutions and everything. So uh, early on, we, we, uh, we always kept an open mind into like uh, what they could bring with their own experience yep. and how it would affect uh, uh, the, the DSX experience. And for me, the challenge was more to, uh, it was not as much as a challenge as much as I had to have the, the right mindset and, and be open to the change the changes needed for, for, for the game and everything. Mm -hmm. It has been a great collaboration. So I, I learned a lot with those guys actually. Yeah. Uh, James, from a production standpoint, like how does it how does it work collaborating between the two teams? Like what's the workflow like with you guys? Um, so in, in, ter in terms of how that uh, how it works, I mean, we, we all kind of bring something unique to uh, to the table. So Enfusion are uh, uh, an experienced mobile developer. They are massive fans of Deus Ex. Um, they they simply ooze talent. They're, they're, they're ab absolutely in incredible. In terms of, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a producer. I work for, for, for Square Enix uh, Mobile, uh, based in London. So a lot of us there have have uh, um, many years in uh, in taking established franchises and and, and, and you know getting those onto onto tablet and smartphone. So some of us have been doing it for, for over 12 years. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what, what we bring to the table. And obviously, you know, in, in terms of the guys in Idas Montreal, that they, they created Human Revolution that spent the last four years. So it's a case of kind of like, you know, bringing everyone together with, with the shared goal of making a, a, a great Deus Ex experience and kind, of, and kind of working through that. So I won't necessarily go through the exact, exact workflow, but, you know, for us, we all brought something unique to the table and then we combined that to, to make the, the experience that we've, that we've created. You guys really are all over. You're, you're, you're dotted all over the map. That's yeah, it's got to be challenging, but at the same time very cool because you're taking the most talented and appropriate people for the jobs no matter where they are, and I like that. Yeah. So we work 24 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time zones, those get tricky sometimes when you're collaborating, but yeah. yeah. Great. Um, JF, how has IDES Montreal preserved the unique flavor of uh, human revolution in this game? Well, a bit like uh, uh, James just said, uh, a lot of the core team members 
of the Essex Human Revolution have been uh, involved in that project. Uh, we had Mary Damarl, which was the narrative director on Human Revolution that mm -hmm. was uh, was part of it. Uh, JJB also, the art director, was uh, also uh, uh, supportive and uh, gave uh, his uh, uh, shared his knowledge for 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 the visuals and everything, and we also had James Swallow, like the yep. the, the guy who wrote the uh, Curse Effect, involved. So for us, it was all about making sure that the different aspects that the core team we were bringing to Human Revolution, that uh, those people would work also with the uh, the Infusion people and with James and everything, to make sure that we're able to recreate it, uh, because we're uh, uh, we're a team where we like to go into the details and we yeah. we want everything to be really like perfect and everything. So. It's something that we were bringing on the table and working uh, with the, s the story with them and everything and understanding like the constraints and how we would uh, adapt certain aspects of mm -hmm. the game and everything. So, uh, yeah, so it was all about uh, making sure that the core team would have uh, some uh, sort of an involvement and help uh, the, the, the guys at Infusion. Bringing the right talent to the yes. table, I like that. Yeah, and, it's, um, and I, I must say, you know, I think you, you guys have been on tap pretty much from, from day one in, in terms of the experience, so, yeah. and that's been incredibly helpful, and, then, and the level of detail we've been able to go, go through, not just from you know, creating the, the script from, from concept through to completion, but it's even stuff like you know, the, the emails and ebooks and pocket secretaries yeah. that, you, that you will pick up and read in, in the game, you know, having uh, Mary DeMarle and James Swallow look at the emails and say, actually, that character wouldn't speak like that because their grammar's not as good. <laughs> like, and, you know, it's, it's kind of that which, which has really helped the reta re re yeah. Re retain the consistency of the world yeah. that's been created. Yeah. And another thing that was also really interesting, the way uh, we like to work is that uh, when we, 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 part we partner with a studio or something like that, we like them to be involved in the, the, the creative process. So with the fall, uh, the, the Infusion guys have been uh, proposing a lot of stuff and even the story and, yeah. and everything. So uh, they, they had their own creative input on top of our support and everything. So, Great. Yeah. Uh, do players need to be familiar with Human Revolution to start off with the fall? And, and just to expand a little bit on that, can you guys touch a little bit on the narrative, just the basic premise of, of the fall? Right. Uh, like uh, we said earlier, uh, you play as Ben Saxon. Uh, you're a former SAS uh, a British uh, mercenary. And uh, at the beginning of the game, you're on the run, uh, and actually, that's where the the, the book uh, the book Icarus uh, novel ends. And uh, you you need to hide from your former employers, the tyrants, like we said. And the thing is that Ben Saxon doesn't have the same uh, uh, DNA as Adam Jensen. Adam yep. Jensen can uh, uh, accept augmentations without uh, having to use neuroposin, a drug yep. that is uh, is used to uh, as an anti-rejection uh, thing. And but Ben Saxon doesn't doesn't have that mm. so he needs to take the neuroposin and um, uh, at the beginning of the game he's running out of, of that and he needs to to go in the streets and expose himself and try to find some uh, supply and as he goes into this he's, he's going to start to discover that there's something bigger happening yep. uh, uh, about the, 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 the shortage of, of the neuroposin and everything so um, that's a little bit the premise of, of the game, and it happens uh, roughly at the same time as Adam Jensen is recovering from his injury yep. of Human Revolution. And the way we build it, we build it in a way that it can be played alone without having played Human Revolution or even read uh, the Icarus Effect. Actually, at the beginning of the game, we have uh, uh, kind of some flashbacks, gameplay flashbacks, in which we retell some aspects of the, uh, the, the, the novel story so yep. players can understand who the character is, what kind of Jump world right it is, in. and uh, etc. So, yeah. So you don't you don't need any any prior knowledge, um, <coughs> but you know there there are uh, reoccurring characters, characters characters in the book, characters from uh, Human Revolution, and if, indeed uh, other Deus Ex titles as well. So you know if if you're a fan of the series, it's going to be uh, lots for you to enjoy here. And what's the, this is a big question, what's the master plan for the fall? Uh, are we going to expect some further installments? Is this kind of foretelling in some way? <coughs> yeah, so, um, so we are saying that this is, uh, this is the start of, uh, of the story um, uh, on, uh, on the mobile and, uh, and smartphone platform. So uh, uh, it will continue. We're not really talking about um, what form that will take right now, but yes, the, the, the story will, will continue. So it is the beginning for us something to look forward to. Uh, finally, do you have any words for fans out there or any other points you want to touch on in terms of gameplay or anything? 
Well, for myself is, I know that there are some fans at first that were shocked by the news, like, <laughs> oh, it's the next day SX is on the mobile devices and everything. Uh, what I can say is that, please try it, look at the game. Yep. It's really a, a real DSX game. Uh, it was our goal to, to make something that will be quality, so we wouldn't get ourselves into that if mm -hmm. it, were, it, it wasn't the case. And it's not because we're doing that, we're exploring other territories that it's the end of the console of yep. the, uh, or the PC game. So my last word is be patient. <laughs> okay, anything from you? Uh, not really. I think um, you know, uh, for for me, uh, it's been it's been 12 months of of, uh, of really hard work of, of trying to make a a, a unique uh, Deus Ex experience, which is uh, you know true to uh, the, the the brand. And I think um, I think you know the the initial response that we've had from uh, from fans who've come along to the show today uh, to to play the game, and uh, you know from some of the first impressions have been positive. So as as JF says, you know. Uh, you know, just just play the game and uh, and, and see what you think, and uh, you know, let us know. Yeah. Great. I think we're all looking forward to seeing more of it. Uh, thank you both for being here. Our pleasure. We're actually going to uh, our trailer lineup is slated next, but we're going to take a little bit of time and go off air. Don't panic. We're going to try to figure out a little audio issue you guys have been mentioning on the stream. So we're going to reset and then come back for the trailer. Come back with the trailers after that. So we'll have more great content for you. So stick around.